What's up friends? This is the Civic Panel Loader 35 from Evergoods. It's got a hip strap. It's got very comfortable ergonomic shoulder straps. You see this? No load, load adjusters, but do you see how this like wedge right here kind of lifts itself up onto the bag? That's class, classic Evergoods stuff. It's a travel bag at 35 liters. And here's the deal. I've been living out of this. I've been living out of this for for like as soon as since I since I got it basically I was very I've been very excited about this bag and then I just happened to be like in a lot of transit. So I have been living out of this. I've also used it at like not just as a travel bag but as a as a camera bag with like a bunch of gear in there. I'm just going to open it up and show you all the features, what I think about them and give you some sense of of what it's been like to use. First of all, we are using some different materials than I have been used to on Evergoods bags. So you see this, this is like a breathable something. When I first got this, this was like, what? This is Evergoods? The main, the main material itself, this is from their mountain line, not their, not their Civic line. It's slightly lighter weight. It is very slick, easy to clean. The dog hair stuff doesn't, lint doesn't stick to it the same way, okay? So um, first things first, like, I have always loved their Civic line of materials, right? It's got a little more of a burly sort of chunky, uh, but it has made lint, pet hair, dust, dirt, stuff like that really sticks to it. This is much more of a like a nylon feeling. It's a 420D high tenacity something something. You can look it up on their website, but I'm just telling you about the feel of it. It's definitely a little bit slicker, and I definitely miss some of that Evergoods feeling that I've come to love in, in their Civic panel loaders, the Civic half zip. I just love those materials, but I've always heard people complain about how, you know, pet hair and stuff like that sticks to it. This, you're not gonna have the same problem with, okay? Another thing I just wanna call out right now, these zippers, like this is, I just love these. I just love it, little, little fatty tab, all right, with a ribbon and a knot at the end here, okay? This just works so well. It's all across the bag. It's all across the bag, these just simple zip pulls that it would be easy to, if, if something happened to one, it'd be easy to, to get another one on there. I have used lots of Evergoods bags over lots of periods of time, and I've never had one of these come off, but they're just quiet. They feel really good. Another thing while we're talking zippers here, here's your main compartment zipper, big old fat YKK, number 10, reversed. And whenever I open this, I have always been so grateful for this little loop right here. This is just like an anchor for you to hold while you zip. It's little things like that, little details like that, the way that they implemented that with just a little ribbon, I have been surprised that that's all I've needed. It's been absolutely fine because I am like rucking around like a, like a crazy person, honestly, in my life right now. Like, taking this thing on film sets and and traveling, like like buying a ticket and within an hour being on a flight and just needing to throw whatever into it. And it just, it has been, it's just like been so good. It's been so good to me. Now, let's talk about some of our pocketing here, okay? One, two, three, external access from the outside organized stuff with. You see this thing on the back here? Do you see this big old taco pocket? This thing's incredible. This is amazing. And it would be fine if it was just that on this bag for me. But then this pocket right here, massive. This is stuff that's left. I just went on a, like a surprise travel trip and uh, I have a bunch of stuff still in here from filming like lapel mics and stuff like that. Um, and Laird Hamilton protein bars. This pocket is, is like surprisingly large. Here's some Sennheiser PXC 550s. This thing should just gobble them up with room to spare up top. Okay, so these bags, one of the things I've always loved about Evergoods bags is this, this mix of, um, in the bag, in the, like the techie bag world, there's, a, there's this like propensity towards like a pocket for every dongle, you know? Highly, highly organized. And I have always, that's like what initially got me into this kind of 
right? It's like such a fascinating idea that you'd have a spot for everything in your life. However, as I've traveled and worked more and more and more, as I've aged, as I've, it's like, you know what I want? Is I want like, a, I just need to be able to, to shove a few things. Everybody knows like the mom's purse thing when you're going in there trying to like, what mom, what the, like you can't just throw everything. So I'm, I don't like to have everything in one compartment like that, right? I like to have multiple compartments, but I don't like to have a, a, like a little sleeve for every single little item in my, in my life, right? This is a excellent middle ground between the two because there's this front pocket. For example, I've got some, some books in here. Fear. This one's really good. A Bridge to Spirit. This has been kind of blowing my mind. Lisa Romero. Inside of here, you've got some solid organization that you access from the side, all right? Just like a couple, a couple little, little numbers here, and then a zipped guy, and then the volume of this itself, which has a little gusset in the bottom of it. Now, besides those three, which I've shown you, you have the best water bottle pockets probably on the market. I just, I don't know. I love these. I love this material. I've always loved this stretch mesh. You'll see another spot inside the main compartment with this stretch mesh. It is my favorite feeling meshy material that I have encountered. They've also got a piece of elastic around the top here to reinforce it. It gobbles up my big old 32 ounce water bottle. You've got two of them, right? This is the kind of that I'm grateful for when I'm on the road. And then you have your laptop compartment right here, which is the same thing that they've been doing in their Civic panel loaders. Here's what I've noticed about this. Every single time I pull this, I pull my laptop out of this, I'm surprised that it just comes right out. Every time that I put it in, I'm just surprised. I imagine it's supposed to be hitting up against something here and getting like locked and it's like, nope, it just comes right in and out. I don't know how they did that because it has it has like room, you see this? It's pulled up off the bottom of the bag. It has some room on the top as well. There's also some volume in here. There's a little bit of Velcro if you wanted to lock your laptop in. The material on the inside, the liner here, everything about this is that kind of like classic like fighter pilot driving a Porsche to the hangar sort of aesthetic vibe, but it's modern, modern version of that. You know, it's not like heritage nostalgic. It's, it, but like it's nostalgic in the sense it's like, remember when men were men. And then we've got the main compartment, all right? Which again, these YKK number 10s, nice and smooth. Inside of here, I have just got a bunch of crap that I have been gathering from some trips recently. My Focal uh, Bathist. Check out my headphone review on these if you want to spend $800 on a Bluetooth headphone that will actually change, like blow your mind and change your life. Got a uh, new shirt from Amber Rubarth. Check out Amber Rubarth's music. She drew this thing. She's a buddy of mine and she has an incredible voice and is an amazing songwriter. I just have a bunch of shit in here. Just getting to the bottom here so I can show you what this is like, my Shama sandals, which I didn't pull out this last trip. So first of all, you've got your main, your main cavity over here. Here's that stretch mesh again. I sometimes will have a, a, a pen clipped up into here. Look at your capacity here. It tapers down a slightly towards the end here. Then on this side, you've got a, a see-through pocket with this just super rugged mesh, which is actually lighter. It feels lighter weight than their previous than some of the, the versions I've seen before. And I actually kind of like this. This doesn't feel like it's gonna break down at all. Got, uh, it's just, and it's got its own volume in here. It's a nice stuff pocket that you're able to access from the side of the bag. If you just wanted to open this panel here, you'd be able to get right into this guy right there. And then this is their security pocket. I, again, I, this kind of aesthetic, it feels a little bit like Soviet era, you know, goodies or like World War. America World War II kind of shit, which I just dig, I just dig. But the material itself, the way that the zips pull, the durability, the how this is gonna last, that's what you're feeling. 
When you see this kind of thing, it just makes it feel like, oh, my grandkids are gonna fight over this. And inside of here, you've just got a lot of, like you've got some space and you've got two pouches to just throw some stuff in, okay? So just two little like drop-in bits and then some space to throw stuff. Now, the final bit on this bag is comfort and style for me. First of all, to the comfort. Yes, it's extremely comfortable. These, I showed you these, they're designed to go around that crest on your hip. I traveled a bunch with them and I have not been using them. They just fold in like this. They go in and up and it is away. They have little strap gathers on the strap. I've been carrying it constantly, full, heavy, with just these. I could have pulled those out at any time today. I just pulled them out like while I was wearing the bag, pulled that out and clipped it on. It definitely helps put that load right on the weight or on the hips rather, but I just, I've been carrying it like this. One of the reasons why is because it's, it's fine. It's comfortable enough. Once I, once I put this on, it's, it's solid. You're going to notice this, uh, what are they? Is it like an EV40 foam? It's something that's really rubbery and springy. Uh, apparently it's super durable. You're gonna know, like you've never felt straps like this. Some of you are gonna wish maybe these were fatter, wider, softer. I really like them. And then this sternum strap, you can flip from side to side. So you're opening it on this side or opening it on this side. You can move it up and down with these anchor points here. But this, like this, it's a 35 liter bag. I've got lots of stuff in it. It looks really sleek. Like, I look, I feel cool in this bag. <laughs> I don't know if I look cool, but I feel cool in this bag, you know? I love the look and the feel and the aesthetics of it. That's one of the, that's why I fell in love with every good stuff in the first place. And then what kept me in love with them was what I was telling you about, like, the materials on the inside, that, like, the aesthetic of that little, I don't know, what it's like to use feels so good, right? What kept me using it is this sort of, uh, this like perspective in materials. I've never seen them do a bag with this many pockets. I've never seen uh, like, like the, the size of these pockets are so lovely, right? Like I said, this, this one that I put the headphones in, this one up here that goes all the way across the bag, this is just so, what are you gonna put in there? You can put so many things in there and that's kind of up on top of your shoulders so it's safe from, sort of being crushed. So I've got some glasses in there right now. Um, now, using this, this is definitely bigger than you want it when you get to your destination for your daily carry. However, when you're stuck and you just need something, this is, this is like, you can get away with this. Something about its black on black aesthetic and the shape and the silhouette of it even when I used it as a gear bag, when I was on some film shoots and running around, I didn't feel, first of all, I felt comfortable, like it, it was comfortable on my body, but second of all, uh, for, I could throw it on the ground and open it all up, clamshell, and that was great, I had access to everything, but third of all, it just wasn't too big. I would grab it, I would throw it in my passenger seat of my car, get to the next destination, it moves and flows uh, like just really well. You've got handles here, not on this side, but on this side. You do not have any on the bottom. You do have this luggage pass-through, which can also be a handle here, and then a handle on the top with a couple little bits for clipping a carabiner or something. If you're looking for a travel bag to commit to and you've got this kind of like a little bit urban, old school, rugged, sleek tech, with that, you know, like vibe, like if you identify with this, if you like the look of this, you're a little bit like, uh, at 320 or 340 or something like that, I, three, I can't, somewhere over 300 bucks is where it's, it is right now. And I can understand why. Great materials, lots of panels, lots of sewing going on. Like just these water bottles alone, then you add on the straps, the capacity. There are bigger bags out there for like longer term travel if you really need it. This has always been big enough for me because you can also grind, you can just like, you could fit so much and then just grind it down. These zippers are really strong. The way that the zip moves around this never gave me any issues at all. This is a really good bag to commit to on the regular. 
every day. I'm gonna link below to a few other travel bags that I would compare to if you're like looking for a travel bag right now. The Bellroy Transit is actually somewhat similar in a lot of ways with like where that's like a little more a little more polished uh, you know a little more on the uh on the polished side of things there but it still actually has quite a bit like their mesh for example compare their mesh to this mesh their mesh is a little more it's somehow it's more sexual don't ask me how i like that you know i like this too there's also um for this kind of like for this kind of aesthetic where you're like just like a it's like a you're not a kid you're sort of like a youthful grown-up that kind of vibe i like the packed backpack that i helped them design obviously because it has that porsche to the driving to the hangar sort of quality but it's modern the peak the peak designs backpack is like this except it's it's much stiffer it's much more stiff. It has very similar straps, but they're they're different. I prefer these probably. I prefer this probably, but like at the same time, the Peak has this like bucket scooped kind of this expandability. All of these features. Great water bottle pockets on the Peak as well. Great hip straps that that fold away uh, easier than these even. And with that, that's it. That's it. How you doing? How's it going? I've had, uh, I've had, uh, we had a, a tragedy in the family. I won't talk about it here. Maybe I'll talk about it in another video. And so it's been, it's been a really surprising, harrowing, rough family together. Like, uh, it's been wild. It's been wild. And... Just remember that life is, uh, there's things that happen in life that um, that so, so starkly bring things into focus, bring your life into focus, bring what's important and what isn't into focus. That so uh, sort of magnetize all of the bullshit in your life and it just like gets pushed to the outside and you, all you're left with is what matters, right? I have forgotten all about that. I've only had one other moment in my life that, that had done anything quite like this. And, um, and it's, there's a grace in it in a weird way where something tragic happens and you have to kind of pony up and be like, we got to get the whole team like through, through this thing and we don't even know how to do it. And uh, something in there, the logistics and the stuff you need to do all the while, there's this just intense, like a, like someone flipped a switch. And that stuff's just, all the bullshit's gone. And you're in this like clear vi vitality of life. Um, death does that. Alan Watts says, you know, like uh, the bee and the flower. You'll never find bees without a flower. They're really one organism. And it's the same thing with life and death. You'll never find life without death. They're really one organism. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but it does to me. I'll be okay. We're all right. Thanks for your concern and your care. Thanks to Evergoods for sending this out. Really do, uh, like, when stuff goes down in your life and you're just using something, you know, and it... And it's no longer about like what you can do with that, like, like all these features. And if you wanted this one or that one, you're just like, you could give a shit about all of that. You're just in it, going. And this was a very like worthy companion for me. And my, my work is not done. So love you guys, be yourselves. Life is precious.